Hey everyone, Crew Steel. Um, part one of this kind of longish series, um, topics may be a little sporadic, so I'll try and label them well and number them too in addition. I don't know, we'll figure out where it's going to go, but when it comes down to getting into streaming, I think before we even talk about equipment and everything, the most important thing that you should be double checking over and everything is your internet. Who is your internet service provider, your ISP? What are they offering you? What do you have currently? Do you need an upgrade service from what you have? Maybe you can downgrade it and save yourself some money or whatever. I don't know. It's coming down to figuring out what it is that you're rocking with. Um, this is probably actually the perfect place to start for how to get into streaming and everything because there are people that have data caps. And in all honesty, I don't know anything about data caps. I really don't. I've never had to deal with that issue before. And because of that, it is one reason why I figured this would be the best way to truly start off how to stream. It's going to be very shortish, quickish video talking about it. But nonetheless, I want to talk about ISPs and that and, and a little bit about internet speeds and, and how it kind of works a little bit. So you understand about this game, about this business. Your ISP, I'm with Spectrum before we even get into that because my, my friend that I have it takes him it takes him three days to do a video game download another one of my friends it'll take him a whole day to do a video game download but the one at least has data caps he can't stream and, and there was another streamer that I knew that has data caps and he's moving to a place where his internet's going to be even worse with still data caps and it's just so he's now being forced to go from Twitch to go to YouTube because then he can handle just doing a video upload instead of long hours of streaming and eating the data plan. So right quick if you're someone that has data caps or just really 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 shitty internet. Maybe then, you know, you can still pursue your dreams or your desires of making it as a gamer or, you know, but you just might have to go and start out on YouTube until you can figure out some way to get a better internet thing. Um, I know that can suck, but it's just a, it's a reality check. Hopefully it's not a big reality check for many of you that are watching this. Hopefully this piece of information is completely irrelevant for all of you. Hopefully. But that's why I want to start with it double check over what you got going on with yourself. Number two with it is, is all right, so you're like me, you have an ISP, there are no data caps, and uh, you just got your speeds. All right, groovy. Check your speeds. We're talking about maybe you're going to be doing what I do. You go to, what is it, speedtest.net. You go to speedtest.net, you do the go, you find out your speeds, la -di da okay, you're like me, 100 down and 10 up. Great, that's good. You can work with that. You should be able to work with that. Now, how many people are in your household? If it's just you, then you're good. Keep going on and advancing. We will have another video to go from here. Now, let's say you got a brother, a dad, parent, you know, you got parents, you got other people that are using your internet and everything. Okay, no worries, brother. No worries, or sister. What else do they do? Is it, are anybody doing gaming? Because what I'm talking about is when it comes to your internet and everything, when it comes to streaming, your upload is the most important thing is do you got like brothers and sisters that are both gaming at the same time you got two or three that are gaming because those are going to be people that will be eating at that upload speed um you don't ever have to worry too much about download you shouldn't have to worry about download your isp should have your download covered 100 percent of the time that should never ever be an issue it's the upload speed a video game by default on console at least is supposedly just pushes one megabyte per second up so let's say you got a brother and a sister and they like to game and you have 10 upload speed all right now you're really working with eight upload speed because if they're gaming at the same time as you well then really you're working with um seven seven upload speed because of your game in addition as well and then there's your stream, which won't take up that much more, but it's basically doubling it up. Um, if you're starting out in streaming or you're in the middle of it and you're curious on how it works, is that you should be doing 720 resolution with 30 frames a second. The bit rate that's required from that is between uh, 2,500 bit rate and 4,000 bit rate. Now, pretending that the comma in these numbers is a decimal point is where it's talking about your upload speed. 
I do 3500 bit rate. So that's 3.5 megabytes up in addition. So you and your two siblings are gaming and you have 10 upload. Now then, you're working with seven upload speed. Now is introducing your stream to it and you're knocking off another three and a half. Now there's only, uh, that gonna be four and a half or three and a half. I'll let you do the math for me. So you, that's what's remaining left over. It's It doesn't hurt to know the traffic that is going on in your house because maybe you can't do it because there's too much traffic in your house, but just other things to think of. You should be good, you should be covered. As long as you at least probably got like five upload and you're the only one in your house that's doing the upload, you're the only gamer, you should be good, I'd hope and pray for you. Now the next thing is that could happen is your internet service providers, they give you gear. And, and there'll be a little bit of a talk about how you can maybe even save money to by getting your own network. But um, your, internet, your internet service provider will give you a modem and a router. Usually they're all in one and it's just the box, the internet box or whatever that your parents might call it and stuff. That is where the internet comes in. That's what everything flows through, this and that and stuff. Now, that piece of equipment that they're using, these people, these companies, they don't really give you great gear ever. And you probably hear at least once a year that they say, oh, your box is shot. We're sending out the technician to replace it. He'll be there tomorrow. Make sure you pick up the call at 3 o'clock. We'll text you at 2 to confirm your appointment, this and that. So anyways, they come and replace it because their gear just isn't that great. And you can have the right download, the perfect upload, and you'll still maybe be having connection issues. And that can be that can be related to the network that you are using that they are providing. They can um, be giving you crap, as I've just stated now three times. Investing in your own network is awesome because, well, it's good, reliable, if you get the right stuff and the right kind. It is going to cost you some money up front, though. But it can save you money in the long run, as some of you may already know. Because, like I said, I think I said, they charge you 10 or 20 bucks a month for using their crappy gear. Where if you can, when you're ready to invest in your own network, it is reliable, it is good. Um, a thing though about when you go to do modems, your internet service provider is picky with modems. When you look at a modem, hopefully it'll say something like this in the box. It'll talk about that, hey, this one is specifically compatible with so and such, so and such, and so and such. It was compatible with Spectrum for me. This was the second modem that I actually ended up buying because the first one I bought by mistake was the Netgear CM1000. And that wasn't compatible. I got it, plugged it in. I'm like, hey, why doesn't it work? The cable's in the dinghy. It's getting to power. It's hooked up to the router. And it just wasn't working because, hey, they don't service that specific brand. Or, I'm sorry, it's not compatible with it. So a lot of the ISPs, they will have like a modem list, or at least Spectrum did. They should have a modem list, and they go into specifics as to which modems will work with their services. So you can go from there and find out which one for the best price works. At the moment, this one, if you're with Spectrum, double check it over for your area. Make sure it's good, whatever, but it should be good. This one, Netgear CM600, is uh, a little under 100 bucks at the moment on Amazon. And it's been good. It's been great. I'm going to do a review on this another time. But just to say real quick about a little side note on modems if you go to buy them you can save yourself some money you can get better equipment to handle your bandwidth and your traffic through your house for your streams and other people too by switching over to a much better network and a lot more reliable network um but know that they are kind of modem specific and then your router this is where a lot of it will come down to and stuff for talking about your bandwidth and what can handle and traffic and stuff uh, i got the nighthawk AC2600 or, you know, modeled number uh, Nighthawk R7800. Really good, by the way. Once again, we'll do another review on it. But um, the modem and router that your ISP will give you can probably maybe be uh, the problem if you have good speeds and, you know, it could just be that the gear that you have is just crap and cruddy because the bandwidth on it is just so out of deck, out of out of date tech and when you come over to these gaming stuff they're more juiced up to be handle handling faster speeds multiple devices and all this stuff 
So that was the talk. And in addition with uh, the, the network and stuff, I when I bought these things, I put the two-year protection plan on them. You may want to do that. Do as I did. Run the calculations yourself. Figure out how much money is going to spend right now for this shit. A little over 300 And then it's like five or ten bucks per product for the two-year protection plan. So you're talking about like 330 bucks. I don't know. Do your calculations. Uh, if you're spending money right now monthly for their crap, 10, 20 bucks, do it yourself. Figure it out if you're saving money or how long it'll take you to save money. For me at the moment, as soon as the protection plans, for when I bought them, when the protection plans end next year, as long as they're still good and holding up then and afterwards, I'm saving money. So that's the deal on, on your network and your speeds. And before we get into streaming stuff is take a look at your provider. What's going on? I know there's been some controversy about net neutrality and, and I wasn't aware of it. Apparently, it's we no longer have net neutrality and stuff. So uh, internet service providers can maybe be a little more tricky now. I don't know. It's another part as to why you got to do your speed test. Find out your speeds. Find out what you're working with. What kind of gear do you got going on? Because in order to do the streaming, you need internet. Take a look at what you got. Figure out what you got. Understand what you got. We'll get in another video on where to continue, how you want to stream, and what you're going to be streaming with in the next video. But this is the first video talking about internet. And I thank you all for watching. I need to skedaddle now. I got to get my stream on. Um, come by Twitch, Crew Steel on Twitch TV. Uh, gaming a lot there. Talking, love talking to people. You got questions about things or streaming this and that. Come by, say hi. I rock and roll. And uh, you know, we can talk if you got questions, comments, concerns, and stuff on my things. And you see where I'm going with this. There'll be other videos coming up about streaming and reviews on those products and the other stuff that I have to come. I've been really lazy on doing these YouTube videos, but they're coming. My friends, we'll see you in the next video. Take care.